getting sharp or tingly pains doing certain movements, you might have what's called neural tightness. This affects your nerves, which are responsible for sending signals to different parts of your body. And so most people get this nerve tightness when the nerves are compressed or irritated as a result of an injury. And so I learned about this at my placement at a physio clinic. And so what they were doing is they're getting people to do what's called nerve glides, which are stretches for the nerves. And so these exercises were stretching the nerve, which would relieve the tightness. Now for the arm, there were four different stretches they were using. The first is what's called the teapot. And so this exercise stretches the median nerve, which affects your thumb touching your pinky, rotating your hand down, facing down, and bringing your palm towards your arm. And so you should feel a tingly sensation on the palm of your hand when you're doing this stretch. The next exercise also targets the median nerve, and that's called stop signs. You should also be feeling the tingly sensation on the palm of your hand. The next stretch is called tip the waiter. And so you should feel the tingly sensation on the back of your hand if you've got neural tightness. And so this stretch is targeting the radial nerve. And that's involved in bringing your elbow straight and straightening your wrist. And the last exercise is what's called the monocle. And this is involved in the ulnar nerve. So you should feel a bit of a tingly sensation around your pinky. And this nerve targets the muscles that Bring your fingers out to the side and create like a high five moves your pinky and your ring finger and so that's where you should be feeling the stretch now if you've got that neural tightness you try and do these one to two times a day it's going to stretch out that nerve and reduce the compression on it let me know how it goes if you enjoyed today's video please subscribe and i'll see you again in the next video